Welcome back to Maya 2018 Basics. Today we're going to learn about Bevel, the Bevel tool. Quick, straightforward, and easy. All right, so when we bevel, we want bevel, we want edges, right? So the first thing we want is to select edges. I just made a nice little colorful box here for us, pre-made, you're welcome. We go into edge mode here and we can just start selecting our edges. When you bevel, it's always best not to hit object and then control B or this tool here. Where's bevel? Where's bevel? There's bevel right there. Bevel components, or you can go into edit mesh, bevel, and you have an opportunity to go into the settings menu as well if you go through the drop down menu. The other hotkey is control B as in boy and this is where a graphic comes up and shows control B. All right. One thing you don't want to do though is hit control B altogether. If you have a very complex model, uh, it's going to give you, it'll most likely give you some issues because you don't need to bevel necessarily everything. Okay. So I would backtrack that only bevel the edges that you need. All right. One quick way if you want to bevel all one, two, three, four of these edges, a real quick way to do it is to just select face and then hit control B and that'll bevel all of those edges. All of the edges will be beveled. You can go here into the manipulator, hit the middle key and you can change fractions. Like maybe you just need a real subtle one or you can type it in if I, at 0.05. There you go. You have a little bevel there, just a little bevel. And it looks good. We want to stay away from triangles and n-gons, n-gons being sides that are five or more for the purposes of really good topography, really good geometry. You want to stay with quads, one, two, three, four sides. Okay. This one looks good. We do segments. You can add segments for more resolution, depth. We'll go inverse like that. You notice that? That looks really kind of cool. That's an inverse type of, uh, let's see if we can see it a little bit better. So it goes in, it goes down. It almost looks like a, you could actually do this with an extrusion. You could do this with a an extrusion. Okay, similar thing there. Uh, let's see meter along. I wouldn't mess with these too much. This gets a little more more involved And if you want to get a little more into the manipulator You can hit left click and add things if you want Add an offset you can add angle tolerance You can add tons of different things That aren't necessarily the default and you can also change the size which I, I kind of like medium, medium, that medium size. Let's see, it was in large. Uh, let's stick with medium. Small, Ooh, that's too small. All right, so we'll go medium. Or you can adjust it like that. Okay, and that should, that's pretty Pretty much it. Let's see, what else do we have? We select the edges, we select the face. Also, I wanted to show you again, tab select. When you go into edge mode, if you click on this, or well not click on it, if you hit tab, you see this little, see the cursor, the way it's going positive, and then you hit left click, right? Left click. Now, if I drag it over any other edge, it's gonna select it. It's just gonna paint it. If I wanted to do that, looks like it got them all. Tab, there you go. So it paints it on. Tab's really good, especially if you have a lot of faces. Let's see that deselects it. If you have a lot of faces on something, it's a really good thing to have as well. Let's just show you real quick. I'm going to go ahead and make some edge loops. Insert edge loop tool. So if I want to just add a bunch of edge loops here. I 
I'm not, you know, I'm just adding them arbitrarily. And then we go into face, sorry, face mode. Go into face mode. There we go. Tab, click, drag. See? Easy. A lot easier than shift clicking. Especially if you're using a like a Wacom with a pen. So much easier to just hit tab and then just go. All right, that'll do it. Thank you so much. That's been Bevel. Have a nice day.